Hey everyone, I got some time to work on this, so I'm gonna take my time here. We are working on the color and we are figuring out our uh, four value scale. So I can see that we were kind of working on resetting St. Joseph's color. Um, I wanted to kind of revamp my process for this to be one that's a little bit more um, uh, structured, have a more structured approach. So I'm gonna just kind of brush in green onto his, uh, his uh, clothes here. It's okay if I kind of mess up the colors of the other things a little bit. Um, because one thing is I, I didn't want to lose the effect of my line art. Um, so again with Mary, I'll do the same thing. I'll just take my whatever my mid-tone is and I'll brush that in. I'm going to take all, I'm gonna just going to replace everything in here with mid-tone first. Mid-tone being uh, the base color that I'm going to be using. Just make sure I have that alpha lock on, which it looks like I don't. Okay. Okay. And again, uh, as usual, if you uh, would like to draw with me, um, and sort of enjoy the art process together, go ahead and feel free to bring out any notebooks or tablets you have and just draw along, doodle, sketch, whatever it is you want. I'm going to take my mid-tones. These are sort of predefined colors in a palette. Um, I don't think this skin color is quite right, so I might change this. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm even going to go over his eyes here. I'm going to change the skin color. Let's find a better base color for him. Something a bit darker, but I think more saturated because I think I was having trouble with um, being too dis desaturated before. Yeah. Something a little bit more... What do I have here? What is this color? Yeah, it's too it's too yellow. I think this is better. We'll go with this. And so, again, it, it looks like I'm kind of messing everything up, but I really want to take a structured approach to this. Every part of this I'm going to be more structured. We got brown hair. I do think this mid-tone color should be darker, so I'm going to go ahead and decide on something darker and replace it in there. Same with here. I'm going to replace the existing mid-tone I had there. So in every part of this, we're going to take that academic approach and figure out what, what shadows I'm going to be defining, um, whether it's going to be, uh, which, like, I'm going to define this is a form shadow, this is a cast shadow, this is an overlap shadow, ambient occlusion, uh, subsurface scattering. Um, I'm going to decide on all that as I go. Keeping in mind, we are just using a simple ambient white lighting and we want to do warm and cool colors uh, cleverly. So I'm just going to be really thinking about the color theory here. Again, it's very basic, but I've never really been able to do... Well, I'm trying to push myself to actually apply what I know. Okay, so... You know, Bob Ross is really able to take his colors and mix them. And when you're mixing paint, you get like some really interesting things. And I need to think a little bit more abstractly or a little bit more, I don't know, concretely abstractly. I don't know what the right word is, but not just think, okay, hair is brown. I'm going to make another brown to shade this. So let's think, let's think a little bit more about this. So um, I, from my previous experience in painting, I should do... Um, things that are further, closer to the background first and then work my way forward toward myself as the viewer. So here's what I'll do. I'll, I don't want to get too caught up in other parts of this right now yet, but let's just put in his that skin color for the arm. Maybe it is too desaturated. Yeah, that's better. 
that's better. Okay, that's better. Okay, we'll go with that. That color instead. Um, and for skin on form shadows, I think I want them to be a bit more red. So I'm going to take that form shadow color that I made. I'm going to move it into the red, saturate it a little bit, and just change that to this. Maybe that's a little bit too dark. So that'll be my form shadow color. And then this cast shadow color. For cast shadows, let's keep them cool. So we'll move into the bluish green a little bit and we'll go down there. Desaturate. That looks so green, right? So I'm gonna go even further in. I want it to look bluish in comparison to the skin. That's too green, right? So let's go blue and let's kind of brush it lightly over this brown. There, that's a bit better. And then I'm going to eye drop it and see what color I'm really dealing with. It's a greenish gray, so super desaturated moving into the blue there. Yeah. Okay. So that'll be my cash shadow color. Maybe it's a little bit too dark though, so um, we'll move into the red a little bit more. Again, working with desaturated colors, I don't have a lot of experience in this, so we're going to try to figure it out. Okay, well, I'll just brush very, very slightly in there and then use that color to move it like that. Okay, all right, let's 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 work with this. So um, we're gonna take our, is this gonna be the cast shadow color under the hair? Maybe it's too, you know, it's still skin. It's still skin, right? So maybe we do need a little bit of brownish in there still, but maybe that's too dark. We'll move it up. Uh, move it back. Trying to find the right colors here. I want to keep my palette simple. Okay, so we'll, we'll use this now. So we're going to take our hair. Get that all painted in there. Let's mirror to make sure the shape of the hair looks good. I think that looks fine. Position of the eyes are look a little bit off, but I think it's okay. And we're going to put in form shadows. Now it's of almost the same value as the, the mid-tone color there. So we're going to make it darker. Let's make it darker. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's a bit more of a contrast. So we're going to take this and put in some form shadows. Turning away from the light. And I want to think in terms of shapes here, not of strands. So we'll work with strands later. Let's just think of shape. Where are there going to be shadows? I have been working on my Spanish lately, guys. I'm just practicing the phrase, no te, pero, no te preocupes today, no te preocupes. Don't be preoccupied, don't, don't worry, basically. Don't worry, no worries. Something I might use at work, no te preocupes. Dibujo, estoy dibujando San Jose, el padre the father, the foster father, I don't know how to say foster father, of Jesus Christ, de Jesucristo. Estoy, practica estoy practicando mi español. Por favor, if you speak Spanish, please leave a comment. Help me out, you know, learn some things. Um, we're going to do a very light blended in um, form shadow here in the in the middle of the eyebrow. Might blend in a soft edge there. Yeah. Trying to work with soft edges because it's not something I do a lot. 
just using the airbrush, uh, sorry, the smudge tool to do it. Form shadow around the cheek. Not too strong. Again, blending that. It's a bit strong. Oh, we really have an edge there. Hard edge, which we don't need that much of. Okay. We'll take, yeah, we'll keep putting form shadows in the hair. Thinking we have a top white lighting with a general white ambient light. So I really have to take into account that white ambient light and how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna put that in. Might have to do an, might be an overlay layer, I'm not really sure. We're gonna put the whites of his eyes again. Gonna add that back in. Get the, some lower lid action in there. Let's get a nice dark brown eye color. We'll get some eyelashes in there using our hair color. Yeah. Okay. So I think the mid-tone is, is it too dark? Is his mid-tone too dark? Might be a dark, huh? Let's try this. Yeah, I think we have to lighten it. How's that look? That's a little bit better. That might have been a little bit too light. Let's brush it in very slightly here. Now that this will be it. Yeah, I think that's better. It's a very slight change, but get some more contrast between the midtone and the form shadow. I might even take that color and put it next to it just to add a little bit of texture to the hair. But I don't want to worry about texture yet. I'm going to keep things general, keep my approach as structured as possible. I don't want to skip anything right now. I don't want to overestimate myself as an, myself as an artist acknowledge that this is where my level is and I need to go through the I need to go through the steps work the steps as they say okay let's get a lip color in there I suppose we could just use the now we can make something a little bit darker a little bit more red I suppose Wait, let's take this color get a little bit more on the red side darker get a lip color in there and then we'll use our cast shadow under the cast shadow color under the mustache cast shadow color under the nose as well Form shadow color. Do we want eyelids, lower lids? Maybe very slightly. Maybe lightly airbrush some color on his face, on his nose. Highlight color. Let's work in a highlight here. Sweat. Do we want St. Joseph to have some? 
glistening sweat on his uh, St. Joseph the Worker. But I, I think in this piece, we're not focusing too much on St. Joseph the Worker. So we'll keep the highlights simple. We'll put one on his nose here. Keep it simple. Maybe on his brow. His eyelids. I'm gonna keep it really simple. No, uh, maybe nothing on the eyelids. That highlight on the nose is a bit strong. Let's keep it more on the round part of his nose, actually. Keep it very light there, just slight. What kind of effect does that have? Now I'm asking myself, does this look better than what I had earlier? As far as his face. Now something I learned from AFK Journey, they they will use hatching in the in the color. So I'm wondering if I can sort of incorporate that. Yeah, I think that has a nice effect. Okay, so form shadow in the neck, we do want a little bit of form shadow here in the sternocleidomastoid, one of my favorite muscles to say. Just a little bit as it turns away from the, from the top light. I think we can do a soft edge right here in the shoulder. Grab this color again. And again, I don't want to get too confused. So I'm not, I'm, I, I want to keep things simple right now. So if I need to use just hard edges first to establish where the form, the shadows are, then I should do that. Cause that's not too much of a form shadow because it's still kind of above the light. It wouldn't turn away that much, but here we do have definitely facing away from the light. Okay, bring some light back up here. And then we'll do a cast shadow under the chin. Strong like that. Under the ear, sure. I think that does look better than what I had before. I think it does. So we'll, we'll continue on the hair because I see his face looks pretty good and we'll work on the hair here. So um, form shadows. So is it gonna be a soft edge here as it goes to the top of his head? Kind of, but I wanna stick with these four values. So on the side of his head, is it gonna be more the course, the form shadow color or is it gonna be more the mid-tone color? I think it's, it's definitely should be like kind of half and half, right? So I'm gonna blend them in. Cause this should be a soft edge. As it's turning away. And then we can add some details with strands later. There, that looks good. Okay, highlights. This is where we can really put some artistic touch to the hair. That is such a strong highlight color. I think that's too strong. We'll tone it down a little bit. So we're gonna try to get these highlights in the right spots here. Shape them a little bit.
that looks okay. But it's too close to the form shadow, actually. I'm gonna, let me, let's um, undo some of this. Let's smudge that form shadow back. So let's take our highlight layer again. Let's get it closer to the top of his head, creating more of a crown shape. A little bit around the head more. I'm gonna bring it, shape it a little bit, bring it down a little bit more here. So, are there gonna be any form shadows here in the top? Maybe a few as hairs overlap each other. Just maybe a few. But again, we don't want to keep it, we don't want to make it too complicated yet. So highlights here, there would probably be some more. No te preocupes. Okay, that's a bit better. Again, the, the location of the highlights is a little off, but... There, that's a bit better. Okay. Now again, using the same uh, colors that we chose, we'll definitely create a form shadow here under his elbow. Let's make that one a nice hard edge. Oh, we got Uber. All right, folks, that was a good session anyway. So yeah, I'm satisfied with this process. It is looking better, but I'll talk to you all later. Gotta do this delivery. God bless, bye-bye.